Hello students, uh, welcome to the module number one. Uh, next, uh, in that module number one, next topic is a uh, mechanical behavior. Okay, first of all, uh, mechanical behavior of materials uh, means what? So, why we have to study this? Because uh, any of the uh, solid metals uh, materials possess various uh, mechanical uh, properties uh, like uh, strength, ductility, toughness, elasticity, etc. So, which plays a very important role for the fabrication of uh, structures uh, like machines and other uh, in, uh, products. Okay. So, however, these properties are going to be uh, greatly depends upon uh, the material co compositions. Okay. So, the example already we discussed in the previous uh, chapters, the crystal structure and defects such as uh, dislocation and grain boundaries and other factors are like uh, heat treatment process etc hence this is very important to understand the fundamentals of the various mechanical behavior of the property of the material so that we have to process material into useful shapes using material processing technique okay let us discuss in this chapter what uh, the concept we are going to discuss a stress strain diagram showing ductile and brittle behavior of the materials okay first of all uh, what is meant by stress Stress means what uh, for any engineering uh, applications, uh, structures uh, and machines uh, components uh, are subject to a different uh, kinds of loads. Okay, the term we call it as stress. So it also to be called as uh, in other way conventionally what we call uh, conventional stress or engineering stress. We are uh, saying that okay, usually expressed in loading terms uh, of force applied to the uh, certain uh, cross section area of an object suppose if you object if you take uh, uh, if you bar any uh, metal bar if you take it is under low uh, tension stress again we will discuss what are types of stresses so if you undergo uh, uh, stress of a tensile what happen uh, the elongation will be taking place or uh, elongation so the cross section area uh, changes so that's what force to the cross sectional area that is what we call it as as stress okay so this stress are uh, used for calculating the stress in this generally uh, the original area before the application of the force and not the area after the force has been uh, applied okay so before only we have to find out what is the area is going to be changing okay after uh, that uh, force applied so there is a stress and whereas strain means there is which generally called as engineering strain so the change in length divided by change in dimension to its original dimensions. So suppose if you take any wire, if you undergo stress, uh, the, undergo some uh, uh, deformation, what happen um, under force? Uh, it will be changing the length. Okay, changing the length. Uh, but uh, we want to calculate the strain. How much strain uh, undergo that uh, object is? There is change in dimension to its original dimension. So this is dimension is a uh, unitless quantity, uh, means dimensionless quantity, it is not having any unit, whereas the stress is having in, it is newton per meter square for the stress. Okay. Now we will discuss about the, uh, the stress strain diagram for different uh, material, tactile material and uh, uh, brittle materials. Okay. So stress strain curves for tactile materials, uh, if we, suppose if you take tactile bar, of uniform cross section area is subjected to the uh, gradual increasing of axial tensile force. Uh, generally, uh, we have done in a universal testing machines, right? So, this test uh, till its failure uh, of the bar occurs when the stress strain curve plots the curve may be divided into uh, two parts. That is, uh, we can uh, discuss here later uh, on the next slide. Uh, so, this is the stress strain uh, diagram, okay. So, initially uh, the stress strain diagram based on the uh, ductile material we have drawn here, ductile material. So, from uh, uh, the, at the point of origin to A, it will be a uh, line, linear, there is no uh, curve at all. So, that we are what we are called as proportionality limit. So, the what is the Hooke's last stage that stress is directly proportional to a strain within the elastic limit. So, that it is shown here. So, that red line uh, it is denoted by the, from from this point to point A that is a elastic region. That is uh, what it is uh, Hooke's law or uh, Young's modulus. Uh, uh, the we got the 
Young's modulus within the elastic limit, uh, stress is directly proportional to strain. So later, and the point B that is we call it as elastic limit. Okay, the elastic limit which is crossing the elastic limit at the point B, and C is what we call that the plastic region where it is upper yield point will start, and D is the lower yield point. Okay. Uh, and the D point uh, is uh, that is a uh, lower yield point and once it is crosses the load uh, yield point further uh, load so what happened uh, that is uh, ultimate stress will be uh, found okay so ultimate stress so the maximum stress uh, we can found at the point E so that is here point E after that so after taking uh, the maximum load it will start uh, a fracture or we can say it is a fracture point f is the fracture point so then the material will be broken so this is the how the ductile material curve will be shown on um, stress strain uh, curve okay so however the linear relation between uh, oa it is a elongation that is the point o to a we call it as a hooks law within the elastic limit so so next uh, we will discuss about the uh, point uh, where uh, the stress and strain curve for the brittle material okay and before dealing with this uh, topic uh, we are going to uh, understand what are these uh, uh, properties uh, within the elastic thing that will uh, there are uh, the linear elastic properties like uh, they are uh, elastic category the, that is hooks already i said uh, though it includes elastic strength okay and resilience okay and elastic uh, in that elastic resilience means uh, uh, first one is elastic strength and stiffness and resilience okay that all these things are going to be found for the various load of actions okay uh, the stiffness means what is the ability of the material to resist the uh, deformation that is out of stiffness so uh, once if you have a um, value uh, the, the ability to withstand that uh, resist the elastic deformation we can test stiffness of the material so the greater the modulus of elasticity the more of stiffer is the material so that is uh, the uh, concept and if you the greater it is stress required it produces given the uh, strain so next uh, resilience resilience means what we can say it is a uh, uh, strain energy okay strain is, is the ability of the material to absorb the energy when it is loaded so within the elastic limit so all these uh, characteristics or properties are within the elastic limits okay uh, that is what uh, resilience uh, resilience are uh, expressed in terms of uh, uh, that is a, a sigma squared divided by two times of Young's modulus okay so that is about and uh, this resilience are very important uh, for the material uh, for the elastic limit to know the uh, modulus of the resilience so uh, this is about the uh, various uh, properties and then uh, coming to the next property the non-linear elastic properties means uh, second modulus and tangent modulus these are all the comes under the non-linear properties so properties the reason we'll discuss for the plastic reason what are those uh, uh, plastic reason that is the from point uh, uh, a to b uh, that is the plastic reason point to uh, c okay point uh, a to C, B, C. So these are all <coughs> plastic region where uh, your uh, yield strength or yield point will be starts. Okay. So uh, once if you get the yield, okay, uh, the it is stress uh, means it is a yield means what the stress required to produce uh, a small a specified amount of plastic or permanent deformation, uh, like uh, uh, the to know the uh, strength and ability after that deformation permanent deformations so this yield strength is also be uh, defined as average stress at the lower yield point determined by fy dot by ao so that is load at yield point and uh, original cross section area of the specimen so this is about the uh, properties of the ductile material okay so this is all about the properties and uh, ductility already you know that refers to the uh, ability of the material to undergo plastic deformation under the tensile load under the tensile load so this is about the uh, some of the properties which are related to the ductile material uh, <coughs> next uh, we'll discuss on uh, brittle material next topic is brittle material 
so this material which shows very small elongation before the field level are called brittle materials and the shape and curve for this uh, high carbon steel or con uh, concrete and uh, high strength uh, uh, light alloys are any brittle materials okay so this is about the brittle materials in that brittle materials uh, various uh, uh, curves you can found okay L like uh, uh, for example example for the brittle material is uh, elastomers means uh, we call it as a rubber or if you take a plaster of paris that will be a direct uh, uh, deformations linear curve so glass will be slightly straight uh, linear then it will be curved so and suppose if with the steel if you take high strength steel it will be elongated at the linear later it will be uh, curve will be down so like that the various uh, uh, stress strain uh, for the different brittle material if you take a poly uh, polystyrene if you also take it will be linear then it will be curve will be upward so these are all the uh, brittle materials uh, uh, structures uh, are going to be uh, found uh, in a stress strain curve so i hope you understood this uh, video let us discuss much more about the uh, in the next slide thank you